Let's go to London now to talk about that latest round of cheap cash from the European Central Bank. I'm joined by David Buick from BGC Partners. Well, David, yes, um, half, a, half a trillion from the ECB to 800 banks, gratefully received, I'm sure. I think that's right, Tiki, and a very good evening to you. Um, I think the increase in the number of uh, recipients was a real surprise to everybody. But I think everybody felt that if the liquidity was passed around, it would be over a period of time quite helpful. The problem we have in London and in Europe is that markets are basically, in terms of wholesale funding, moribund. And this facility is, comes absolutely at the right time if we're going to try and galvanise ourselves into action in terms of recovery. However, what we don't know is what is happening with this money, where it's being appropriated to, is it going to mortgages, is it going to loans. It just seems to be being dumped into the cash pile of each bank. And I'm not certain that that's what it's there for. Mm. Let me ask you about some very good results from WPP, the largest marketing company in the world, because uh, you see that as a very good barometer of, of what is happening worldwide. Can you explain that? Yes, yeah, sure. WPP is the largest PR and advertising agency in the world. The fact that it is a British company is irrelevant because it is an international business with over 200 agencies. And during the course of the last year, Sir Martin Sorrell, the chief executive, has acquired another 35 agencies around the world, mainly in emerging nations, South America, Africa and in Asia. And whereby business in Europe has been pretty flat throughout 2012, their sales are up by about 7% to £10 billion, pounds, which for an advertising agency group, and PR group, is very substantial, with profits up by 39%. The reason I'm really quite happy about this is not only has he had a very good year, but the outlook for 2012, certainly the first six to nine months, is very good because you've got the Olympic Games, you've got the Euro Football uh, Championship, and then, of course, the presidential election where corporations spend huge amounts of money. Mm. Normally, you can tell with Sir Martin Sorrell is that he's got his finger on the pulse and he's an excellent barometer of economic activity. He's a little bit down on Europe and the UK, but he's very upbeat about the emerging world, very upbeat about Asia and Australia, and very upbeat about South, Af South America. All right. And I think that augurs well for the future. Well, we may even get him down here and talk him through it uh, in a few months' time. Uh, finally, your take on News Corporation and the resignation of uh, James Murdoch. I think I'm a little bit disappointed, Tiki, to be honest with you, in the visceral treatment of the management of News Corporation. Uh, memories are very short. News Corporation has poured hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds in newspapers in the United Kingdom, The Times, The Sun, The Sunday Times, The News of the World, and more to the point, it's 39% stake in B Sky B, which has been an absolute revelation during the course of the last 25 years. There has been some very unacceptable behaviour by some journalists, and that is, of course, the phone hacking situation, which has seen inevitably the departure of James Murdoch, who was never in love with newspapers to the same degree as his father was. But he has done an excellent job at B-Sky B, and will be watching, of course, from New York, their television enterprises. I think, basically, what we're saying here in the United Kingdom, that our heart goes out to all those people who have been hacked, particularly those with bereavements. The fact remains that that has always been an illegal activity. Yes. We don't need any kind of inquiry like the Leveson one. Can these people who perpetrated these problems go to jail and can the rest of us please get on with our lives? David. News Corporation, though down with many of the other newspapers, has been a fantastic standard bearer for the media industry. David Buick, it's always great to talk to you from London there. Thank you so much. Pleasure.